All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're gonna be making hand sanitizer from alternatives to alcohol and aloe vera. But um, I will be showing you guys how to make it with store-bought aloe vera, which is a little bit easier to find than isopropyl alcohol is right now. And for that, we will be using the substitute Everclear 151 with 75% uh, alcohol, which is uh, over the limit of what actually what is required in order to kill bacteria, which is 70%. So here we have some little bottles that we're gonna do and spray bottles. I'm gonna make two different types for you guys. And we also have uh, essential oils if you do like a smell. So here we have an aloe vera plant, which could also use if you really run out of aloe vera, but luckily um, this is still around, but alcohol is definitely not around that much. So a lot of the YouTube videos have a lot of uh, videos using isopropyl alcohol, but you know what? This is what we're here for, to make alternatives. All right, let's get started. Yep, generally, um, you know, you can just eyeball this a 50% mixture, but we're actually just gonna go and dump um, some pretty big cup. So we're just kind of gonna eyeball this thing. Just kind of mix it around. Probably put more than that. All right. Once you have a nice little mixture there, and I would recommend starting with a little bit of alcohol just to kind of see how it, how it mixes up, and then add more as needed. Okay. Once you got a nice little base of alcohol in there, I'm gonna go ahead and start stirring it up. You could always add more gel if you really needed to, but this is actually coming to a pretty nice consistency. And this is gonna be the solid version of, of the hand sanitizer. Okay, looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and pour it in, see what we get. All right, actually poured in there pretty nice. Really nice consistency, um, flows well. Um, you can see it kind of flowing out, it flows out pretty fast. And then now uh, you want to add a little bit of the essential oils, which this is the last step and hardly necessary, but some people do not like the smells. So we're gonna go ahead and work with that a little bit. Now we got a lemon to kind of give you that, that kind of clean vibe. All right, after adding just a couple drops, she is absolutely ready to go. It actually flows great. And you can get yourself a little bit on my hand. Feels great. Feels just like real hand sanitizer. Not sticky or anything, so. Mm, I should put a little bit more, but. Actually covers really well, so when it dries up, not sticky. All right, that is how you make your own hand sanitizer at home.